Uh, let us get back to Big Pharma right now. Team Trump taking aim at some of the biggest pharmaceutical names, calling for more transparency when it comes to the high costs you pay of prescription drugs. Listen to what Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar said last night on Brett Baer's Fox Business Show, Fox News Show. What the president is proposing is that drug companies would have to put the list price of their drugs in their TV ads. So that way people know how much a drug costs when they go to see their doctor, whether it's a $50 drug or a $5,000 drug. They can factor that into the discussion they're going to have with their doctors. Not really scaring pharma stocks right now, both Merck and Pfizer, which are Dow components, are moving higher by about 2% or so. And here we have most of the other names. Eli Lilly is up about a quarter of a percent. We've got J&J &J better by one and a half percent. Allergan up two and a half percent. But as you continue this conversation, and we know it matters to all of you, not just as shareholders, but consumers. We told you yesterday about CVS's attempt to disrupt health care with its official merger partner, Aetna. But look who's coming up from behind. A new disruptor called Medley, which promises to put brick and mortar pharmacies like CVS out of business altogether. Okay, before you roll your eyes, you got to hear Medley partner Chirag Kulkarni. He's here in a Fox Business exclusive. I, I first saw this and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. How are you going to do that? How are you going to put CVS, which is on every corner in my state of New Jersey, out of business? That's a great question. So I think we're going to start off by figuring out one brick and mortar pharmacy in each major city. And we take that one pharmacy and we do all the distribution through there. So we're not relying on physical storefronts, which obviously costs a lot for CVS to, to make and run. Okay. Since you uh, launched about, what was it, about a year and a half ago? About a year and a half. A year and, year and a half ago, your revenues have increased by more than 2,000%. Up until about nine minutes ago, you were only in New York City and you have the announcement today, which is? Yeah, we're excited that after phenomenal growth in New York, we're going to be launching in New Jersey. And the goal is by 2020 to be all across the U.S. Obviously, this needs disrupting. You just heard Alex Azar and the Trump administration say, now with television advertisements, you all have to put your prices on those TV ads. Okay, that, that's great. What's that going to do? Do you agree with that move? Are you happy to see the administration doing something like that? Is it sort of calling out these guys or holding their feet to the fire saying you better charge that? But what if it's a very high price that they throw up on there? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting. I think we'll have to see how it plays out. But I think the biggest thing it does is it brings transparency as to where dollars are flowing from the entire system and the entire healthcare ecosystem. Everyone's pointing fingers as of now. Is it the manufacturers? Is it the pharmacy? Is it the pharmaceutical wholesalers, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the stepping stone to help pharmacies truly deliver on their promise of transparency. Explain to me now. The, your elevator pitch of, you know, 20 seconds or whatever. How does Medley work? What does it do? Sure. So we're a digital pharmacy. Instead of focusing on going into a physical brick and mortar, all you have to do is tell your doctor to send your prescription to Medley or transfer your refills. We schedule your delivery the same day for free anywhere in New York and, as we just mentioned, in New Jersey. And that same day, as you said? Same day. How is that different from Capsule, a competitor? Mainly pharmacy is an execution game. So if you look at the two founders of the company, Sahaj and Mark, They've taken 25 years of pharmacy experience combined with consumer tech from my background and other executive team. And we've kind of put together this experience that is seamless, that under promises and over delivers. But how does it lower my prices? Will it? Can it? It will eventually. Um, we're working with insurers right now to improve adherence rates as an example. But think about all the time that you're also saving to not having to go into a pharmacy, mm -hmm. worrying about waiting for an out-of-stock medication. And those are just some of the small examples. Uh, as I saw it, you did a survey and the average waiting time at a pharmacy uh, from soup to nuts to try and get your prescription filled is something like 60 minutes. Let me just stick up for CVS for a minute and play devil's advocate. I've never waited an hour at CVS. Uh, I have great experience with them. I have great experience with Dwayne Reed. Plus, I like to buy the Altoids and the, the El Cheapo lip gloss there, too, while I'm waiting. But you, you have to explain to me how you're going to change behavior. Uber did it, and we were calling you the Postmates of uh, prescription drugs, because Postmates just delivers to, to your house anything that you want, a taco or whatever. But how are you going to get people to change their behavior? I think that's the interesting thing. I think people are already starting to change. Mm -hmm. If you look at Medley itself, we are an open-door pharmacy. You could walk into Medley right now, but less than 5% of our customers do. 
right? And if you look at other independents, right, a lot of them are relying on delivery models. And just look at the brick and mortar retail business as a whole. Well, in the past well year. this brings me to Amazon. I know, I know Phil Flynn is listening in on this conversation. I'm looking at Amazon stock right now. It's up nearly 3%, Phil. Uh, guys like yes. this, look, Amazon just bought PillPack, uh, swept it up. Mm -hmm. I would imagine, uh, you know, a lot of these guys get in the business and then the ones who are most fearful of this kind of disruptor will get eaten up by these big companies. What do you think? In and that's a big possibility. You know, in fact, actually, today I just downloaded my Amazon to go app, which they just opened a store outside of the Board of Trade where you walk in with your app and you buy everything. I mean, Amazon is coming up with one thing after another when, when it comes into this situation. So, uh, you know, when they, they're, they're very smart. They make these selective buys. They've, they've had a few losers, but overall, Am the, 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 the market is loving Jeff Bezos and everything he's doing right now. Well, uh, we want to thank Medley and the gang.